Hey, so today we're looking at a 2019 Winnebago Mini Plus, and the customer's got some leaks above a slide out. And so it's not this slide out, but it's the other one on the other side. So let's go check it out, see what we can find. So this is the slide out that's leaking, and I've already done my inspection of it. And a lot of it's just some basic things. Sometimes things yeah, so small can be missed. Sometimes it's weather related, sometimes it's temperature related. What I wanted to show you is you see that crack to that separation there? Watch how much I can push this in. I can push that mold and corner and it needs a screw there so it's completely wiggling loose. That not being sealed and with the combination of it missing a screw in it, this is called a Z-lock. The metal goes up underneath and then traps it. This piece of metal is just stapled in place and this screw is down at the floor line. So when water's going through, it's coming in and coming out at the edge of the wall. And it's gonna come out anywhere underneath here in this area, wherever it can get in. And since the wall is resting on top of the lino, it's gonna allow it to come back right back into it. And here's one more thing. Again, it's not, it's more of like a production issue. What I wanna show you is these moldings are pre-cut every six inches to have a drill screw hole in them every six inches right here's where the factory cut this one and they did not add a screw so now this molding even though it's somewhat tight it's also loose so i recommend to either put one in at an angle or scoot over and drill a new hole and add another screw here you know these will cause these moldings to flex and move when the coach is moving or you're walking inside and out of it Here's the opposite side where again, you can see where here's the screw hole and here where there was none installed. You can also see that the putty is bled out and it's actually getting on the slide out wiper seals. So if that gets on there, that can actually go back and forth and scrape and scratch the edge of the coach. So inside here, one of the areas that the customer was talking about that was leaking was coming right around this area, right around the skylight area. And when the water was leaking down and running, you can see down here that it was actually causing the wood to swell. So when we came up here to look at it, I'm gonna come and do a over the top video. Here's a turnabon tape. And for whatever reason, they only use two inch on here. Well, the turnabon tape, it looks like it's in decent shape. I mean, there's some stuff that's floating around up there. But you see that area right there, and 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 that area down there. Those are all journals where the turnabon tape has shrunk up and is allowing water to get in there and come out right where the customer is seeing the water leaking. Now, you can take your hand and or the wiper seal and you can actually, this is above the area, and you can, oops, where am I at here? You can actually push these areas back down and rub on them, like I'm doing with a finger, and they will lay back down a little bit, but they're not completely tight. So depending on the day and the temperature outside, that turnabon tape is sticking, but you know, where it would, where it would cause, unless she was really, really, really looking at it carefully, see how much butter it stick down there it it would appear that it's okay but really it's not and so depending on temperature or flexing in the coach it's causing that to lift up because it's lost basically it's sticky back background to it just like this has already moved here you can see how it's pulled loose and moved and shifted you can actually take and peel this stuff right up but i'm not going to pull on it too hard um, so what my recommendation would be to do is to wipe down the sill and apply a four inch sill and go a little bit above the top here and come down and go past that line. So again, coming above the fascia and coming down and going past it. And that'll prevent any water from getting in there. And again, this is just a, you know, tape that's, you know, this thing was produced sometime in 2019. So I'm gonna say that it's, you know, close to four years old or three plus. So it's nothing that the customer did wrong. Um, he came in recently and had a slide out service. And as you can see, the seals are cleaned and lubed good. 
Let's take a look at the opposite side of the slide out, which I found the same thing. And I don't know if I can get the right angle or not, but there was some debris and stuff up here. And there were some spots in some other pictures that was doing the same thing where it was lifting. A couple of them have ran down, but this side's not so noticeable because he's got a slide out topper on there. So it's protecting that side. This side, he's unable to do a slide out topper because of the awning above it. Okay, so now we're up here on top of the roof. And what I want to show is just attention to detail. Now you can see that the sealant is split and separated on top of the refrigerator line. So that's gonna allow water to get back in there. He's not gonna see this because it's gonna go actually absorb into the wall and run down and cause damage down into the wall or get back to the top of the refrigerator. Same thing with the stove vent. You can see all the sealants are split on the stove vent. Well, this is gonna allow water to get back behind it as well and over time cause damage to the walls. Same thing with the speakers. Now up top, it looks pretty good until you get to about here. If you can see that or not, but that's where that sealant is separated a little bit, but the rest of it looks pretty good. There's a couple little minor spots down there toward the ends, but that's kind of normal from flexing. You can see the tape out here looks pretty good, but it's the same thing. The tape, you can see the bubbles or not. The bubbles are around the screws and if I push hard enough, I can lay it down, but then it comes back up. So again, my advice would be to take a four inch, you know, a turnabon tape and come above the flange a little bit, about an inch and come back past it. That way this whole area is protected. It doesn't need to be completely removed because it's not that bad, but it's just coming loose just from age. It's just glue. So. If you look right here, see how that little journal is beginning? That's what happens is the water will get past that and it'll allow water to go right into that screw head and run right down and go right into the room, to the wall, to the roof and cause damage. So it's always really a good idea to pay extra close attention and look at all the stuff, uh, you know, whether you're an owner or even at the repair shop or tech level, if you're a tech washing this attention to detail sometimes things get missed we get too tied up into doing the job you know cleaning and wiping something up and little itty bitty areas will cause such a big headache so you know again, double check your slide out toppers double check your roofs your seams your slide out seals your slide out seams make sure you guys are using the protectant and the cleaners and doing your annual maintenance thanks so much for watching